Hey guys, this is X Fox here, and this is going to be a quick how-to slash guide on uh, how to clear. Our, we actually I got to get the helmet out of the Yagon Barrow, <laughs> uh, Yagon Barrow, or yeah, Yago Barrow uh, helm here or whatever. Anyway, you got to go in here and go get this helmet out of here that uh, one of the lords wanted you to go get. So here again, the quest is pretty simple. It tells you where it's exactly how you got to run here. Typically, you can quick travel almost to this place, take an extra minute to actually run here. So my current level, in case you guys already know, I think I'm level 16 as I came in here. Um, I think you were supposed to finish this one again when you were well, a lot lower level, but um, here I just wanted to do it because, again, it was one of the quests on my list. So I also have Dakaris uh, as my companion. I got him through the deep water pass. Um, he's one of the best companions I had. You guys have probably heard me say this all throughout my uh, things. All the other guys that you can usually get in some of the towns are okay, but he by far has been one of the uh, the better guys that I've had uh, on my side. So here, once you're actually inside the caves, you're going to come into this little puzzle here, and you got to sort of figure out, okay, what do you do? How do you do this? So it's pretty simple. You see the guy that's laying on the ground. You want to go search him. You're actually going to go ahead and get a book, and uh, the book you want to get from him, I just actually went and zoomed forward here. The book you get from him, um, is, uh, it's like Yargon's Tales, or Yar Notes on Yargon's Borrow. So here you read, it says, Man sits in his throne, water of the sea, eagle in the sky, snake in the weeds. So you, you see you have these normal turn spinny things that you always see. So you can see here's water. So I put the, put the, uh, the whale there. Here's the weeds. So the weeds, you want to put the snake. And then here to the one on the right is you want to put the eagle. If you look up, there's a basic, like a big hole in the ceiling where it's the sky. So you just mimic what the book says, and then once you set those all three to that, you simply go over here, open up the lever, and you're ready to rock and roll. I thought when I initially first did this, I had to go have my guy uh, sit down in the chair, but you actually don't need to do that. So here, um, I go ahead and cut it, and I went back and got him. So I run back through the caves looking for anything I can see. I see a lot of these little light uh, balls going around. And these little light balls, I guess, are you know sort of leading you towards the path and where you want to go. So there's not a lot of mobs that you fight in here. There's just that one puzzle, of course. And then you're going to come up to this main uh, sort of door here. What a sight! And this main door is going to lead you again down another hallway into a uh, open gated room. And in here again, I couldn't really find anything um, that was you know that was needed or that was. Uh, that you really need to do in here. If there's any secrets though that I missed, definitely put them in the comments. I'm sort of curious on if there was something bigger and badder in here. So here I just went ahead and just followed the main path down. Of course, ran, you know, I was gonna go through that door right there, but I decided to actually take a left and, and uh, check this out first. Bunch of items here on the ground. Again, nothing uh, that great that I've seen. So of course I'm just gonna continue onward. Again, no mobs uh, that I'm fighting in here so far. Just a few traps here and there. And here I'm looking around, nothing again that I see. Um, but if I'm missing something in here other than this you know, basic chest, let me know if there's a secret passage or a switch you flip somewhere. I didn't see anything, so I didn't even look at those. And of course you come to sort of this main, uh, which you've seen before, these, be this main claw where you got a stick in the door. Now this main claw you actually get from the, the potion dealer in the same town. You actually say, hey, look, here's the claw, check it out. And like the other claws, it has the three little things on there. So um, I believe that's a snake, and then that's the uh, the whale head, then the moth. Or sorry, the wolf head, then the moth. So here again, it's called the coral, uh, the coral claw. So basically, like the other ones, you just simply uh, twist those to the right combination. So it's again snake. It's the wolf's head, and then the moth. I thought it was the uh, I thought it was the little pod-looking thing. So I try and uh, open the door, and it's not going to open because I got to switch it here to the right thing. So again, I switch that one to the wolf's head. So again, snakes, wolf head, moth, and then you go ahead and do it, and boom, the door opens. So here, what's going to happen is you're going to come into this main room. And you want to watch out because there's a, there's a boss that is sitting right behind that treasure chest. Uh, he's the Lord. I forgot his name. You'll see it here in a second. You can see him stand up, and he is ready to rock and roll. So that guy, what you definitely want to do is quickly save here, and then, of course, go in 
And for me, I'm going to go in and just try to beat this guy down here. Try to do as much damage as I can. And again, I'm level 16 or 17 here. And this, this Lord is definitely doing some damage to me. So I'm going to get out of here because I don't want him to two or three hit me. So here, I'm going to go ahead and pop healing and try and run down this corridor. I typically know the guys with the two hands like that or the two-handed weaponry are, is a little slow. So I know I can sprint and get out of here. And then up here, since I'm low on stamina, I'm going to go ahead and try and pop a bunch of potions to, to boost myself up. So here I'm just going to take a quick look and say, okay, you know what? Let's just try and get all the magic potions and stuff like that. Boost them on up just in case here. So here I'm going to go down and say, okay, you know what? I could probably kill this guy. Let's just go in for a devastating, you know, hit, hit, devastating blow. So I'm going to hit him here. One of my guys, my uh, companion misses. I was getting scared here, but luckily... I push him back right into one of my companion's fireball blasts there. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up. As you can see, that's how I beat this guy. He was very difficult even for the level that I was at. So I see, you know, pretty decent sword here. Nothing that great. I go ahead and take both. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and take a look, um, you know, at that weapon and say, okay, you know, is it really worth it? Sure, it looks good, but I don't know. It's not as good as my current Dwarven Hammer. So uh, here, I'm going to say forget it, and I'm going to go check the... Uh, going to go check the rest of the uh, of the items that are inside the cave here. So again, I just looked at both. I was thinking, okay, well, you know, I, I probably could use that one. It's better than my Dwarven Hammer. Well, uh, let's just keep my Dwarven Hammer uh, for now. So I know I should have skipped some of this. I was looking for something to drop here. I just go look for a, uh, a quick book I can drop to get myself under the uh, weight limit. So I cut it so you guys typically don't got to sit there and do it. So Next thing that's next is you're going to go ahead and run and you're going to get to the uh, the actual chest itself. You open the chest, you get your items out of it, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions or I missed something in this level, definitely comment and let me know. I know there's probably a ton of stuff that I missed here. I didn't know how to open that back door back there, so if there's some hidden switch or something, definitely post it in the comments and I'll come back and try it. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And definitely check out all the other Skyrim tutorials and videos and stuff that we have on our channel. We got a ton of them.